Hey there everybody, I have a quick video for you showing how I created this page using the Scraptastic Club Cake by the Ocean and kit and add-on. I'm super excited about this one, it's gorgeous. The kit's beautiful with lots of great colors and I was excited because I had this family photo that I had been wanting to scrap and it the kit has a lot of pink in it, which I'm not afraid of using pink, but I was thinking, oh, this would go perfectly with this family photo of mine. So I have trimmed like a four inch section of that pretty patterned paper. It's sort of watercolor-ish, and I'm going to adhere it to the right side of the page, which is where the bulk of the, all of the stuff will go. But I also trimmed just the little strip of that floral to go right next to it because honestly those tiny little flowers are beautiful and I love them. I'm going to fussy cut a bunch of the flowers from this pattern paper. This is one of my favorite pattern papers I've seen in a while to be perfectly honest with you. The flowers are beautiful. I love the colors. And then the green is really cool in it too. I don't even like green but I love the way that it sort of all just makes it really pop and it's interesting. It's a really great piece of paper and I really like it a lot. So I'm going to cut out a bunch of the different little flowers and a couple of the leaves and I'm going to use those as embellishments on this page. That's what's cool about a piece of paper like this because it's really gorgeous and I love it. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how I would use the paper as it is because the prints are so big and they're a little bit specific. So that's why actually cutting these flowers out of the pattern paper and using them as embellishments is perfect for me. So like I said, I'm going to use some of the leaves too, and I really think that it's going to end up being really pretty. I'm not going to go crazy because you never know how many you're going to actually use once you sort of get them laid out on the paper. So I'm going to start with a few, and then I will just add them right there. Also, one of the nice things about this type of floral is it's not really a precise flower. It's very fluid and it's got a lot of different edges. So you don't have to be the best fussy cutter in the world to be able to use these. And I am definitely not the world's best fussy cutter. Really has something to do with my attention to detail and my, what's the word? Uh, attention span, that's it. I'm not something like this where I need quite a few. I get a little bit bored near the end, so maybe I'm not doing as quite as good of a job. But the awesome part about these flowers is that you really don't have to. They don't have sort of that perfect look to begin with. Also, you can see I printed out the photo already. It's a four by four photo, which is perfect. And I love it for this page because it ends up looking really cool. I'm also going to do a little bit of stamping, which is awesome. I love stamping so much, and I find that I've gotten away from it a little bit on my pages, but I'm excited to do it on this one with this Cake by the Ocean stamp set. As you can see, it's got a lot of really pretty florals, and they're really super basic, and I know it's going to look great. I just used a Prima Chalk ink because, to be perfectly honest, that's the pink that I had. I didn't have another pink handy, and so that seemed like the way to go and in the end I love the coverage that it gave and it's sort of got that the chalky look and it's really kind of got that opaqueness as well and so it turned out perfectly for what I needed and it was what I had handy so it's great however let's be perfectly honest I'm not exactly really particular or a perfectionist so I really probably would have been okay with almost anything now I made that big cluster of the fussy cut flowers up in the top right hand corner and then I intend to do the same thing in the lower left hand corner as well. I will need to cut fussy cut a few more flowers to make it work but first I'm just going to add this little strip of patterned paper on the left side to sort of anchor the design to both halves of the page because this is like I said at the beginning very much heavy on the right side of the page. Now what's cool about these flowers is that they are these really beautiful colors, the corals and the pinks and that kind of stuff, but then they have these awesome black centers that really give it a bunch of contrast and really make you notice the flowers, so that's really fun. Now as you can see, I let the edge hang off a little bit just so that I could trim it and it goes all the way up to the edge. And in that particular flower, in that particular spot, I really love how it turned out. 
Now again, I'm going to cut a couple of leaves out and use a, both of the colors, the lighter green and the darker green, and this time I'm just going to use adhesive to adhere them, not the foam squares that I did up in the right hand corner. Side note, my favorite foam squares of all time are the Thermoweb foam squares. They're very thick and so they really give your items a lot of dimension. Now I'm also just going to use a chalk ink again, the same pink one that I did already, and then clean the stamps quickly with a baby wipe. Not because you have to use baby wipes, but I'm kind of clumsy and often will drop the stamp, and so it's best for me if it's completely cleaned off and then I can not make a mess on my page. I also used a black ink just to give the black center of that one particular photo also. Now I'm going to go through these pink fresh acetate words and look for ones that I'd like to use on the page, trying out a couple of different ones before I settle on that one which says best. And I love it because it sort of blends into the entire design. It adds detail and it adds something interesting to look at, but it doesn't stand out and scream, look at me, look at me. It's just kind of part of the overall design and I really like that as well. Now for that center cluster that's on the left side of the photo, I'm going to add one of those acetate floral pieces from the ephemera from the Pink Paisley collection. And I love the way that it turned out. It looks so cool. And I just love how it's all really just beautiful and it goes together well, including the stamps. Now I like to use little glue dots on my bits and pieces. I think that they hold really well. They're very sturdy and they are come in a lot of different sizes so you can find the ones that work great for your particular item that you're gluing down. Now I'm using a really light green for the, the flower leaves on here. I could have gone with a darker green but I didn't really want it to compete with the other leaves that are on this page because those are really cool and they look good so I felt like this nice pastel green gave it the detail that it needed but it didn't compete and so sometimes you have to pick the you don't want it to all be a hot mess that screams look at me look at me sometimes you just need little bits and pieces that add the detail that you're looking for now as you can see the page is really coming together. This is the basic design. I'm going to add some of these word strips from the Pink Fresh and they are really heavy like cottony feeling paper and then they have this watercolor. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I love them very much and they really add that little something up in that part, part of the page that didn't that was sort of a lot of white space and they go well color wise and they just tie into the whole thing perfectly. And then honestly, to be the, all that's really left is to add the title, which is these glittery foam thickers, and then just a couple of words of journaling, and that is it. Anyway, that is it for me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked the video, and it also lets YouTube know the types of videos that you like to see. Thank you so much, and make it a great day.